Hello, after a long, long hiatus, I am back. It has been a long time coming, but I am here with a new Let's Play of Far Cry 3. Now, I picked up this game during the Steam sale, uh, December, I think around 28th, and I have not been able to put it down. The open-endedness and the sheer number of different things it allows you to do make for such an amazing gameplay experience that I just feel it needs to be shared. Uh, and you know, th it's not like this is an unpopular game. You guys have seen this kind of stuff before, but still, if, if someone out there hasn't looked at this game, hasn't seen what it has to offer, then I've, I feel obligated to let's play it and show off what it can do. So we're going to start a new game. Uh, this game has a bit of an intro and tutorial sequence which lasts a while. I am going to lump those up into two big intro videos so we can get through them and get to the meat of the game as quickly as we can. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to put this on Warrior. My base game is on Survivor, so this will have let me have a little bit of extra challenge, but not so much that not so much that I won't be able to demonstrate things to you. I won't be able to play the game competently and so on. So Far Cry 3 is based on, uh, goodness, some island. I don't even know what the name of the island is, but it's got these, uh, the, these two warring factions. One is this small uh, small local group called the Rakyat Warriors and they're fighting a losing battle against uh, the much more numerous and well-armed pirates who answer to a man named Hoyt who's who we will learn more about in the future and boy this has taken a fairly long time to hell is that motherfucker to my father's black we card to back. my black card Woo! that was sloppy of me I literally dropped all my stuff the exact time I loaded. Sorry about that, guys. I almost want to go back again and reload. Okay, let's watch this cool inside. Look at how none of this could possibly go wrong. Hold the door! Yo, Jason, get in! Get in! Oh no, we took our friends and put them in a farm. You will man take my friends out the phone. I like this phone. This is a nice fucking phone. Yeah, it's a soul sucking phone, so, you evil man. What do we have here? Pull me Brands. in a wooden cage. Guess it's better than being a phone. And Jason. California, huh? Huh? Well, I hope you mama and your papa really, really love you. Because you two white boys, you look very expensive. And that's good because I like expensive things. I'm sorry, what did you say? What did you say? Do you want me to slice you open like I did your friend? Shut the fuck up! Okay? I'm the one with the fucking dick. Look at me. Look me in the fucking eye. Hey! You fuck! Look me in the eye! You're my bitch. I rule this fucking kingdom. Shut the fuck up, or you die. What is it, Jason? Jason, what is it? This is Voss. Why aren't you laughing now like you did up there? What is He's this not fun anymore? Have I failed to the main antagonist of this, sort see, of. the thing is, up there, you thought you had a chance. Way up in the fucking skies, you thought you... I will admit, I don't really know situation. about the end of the story like about this. Down here. My playthrough is five or six chapters ahead of what I'm going to be in the Let's Play. Which will be good for you guys, because I'll know what's up. It's okay. I'm ahead of time. Relax, because you are. But it does okay, mean I don't necessarily know how the whole story goes. Wait for the money. Stop scaring the hostages. I need you to take care of the rejects. 
I just hope that you two pieces of fuck are more entertaining than your friends. Make too much noise. Uh, bye bye. Get you every fucking time, man. There we are. That kind of a precarious setup here. Yeah, basically, I had to restart the game because the load Fuck. screen stuck while I was recording it. And then I tried to throw something in the trash while I turned off recording. Figuring maybe it was causing the loading to take longer. And that was the exact time it loaded up and my mic was on the floor and my keyboard was on the floor and so on. So hopefully hey, adjusting that didn't... Wasn't too painful. The fuck? Hey, you guys shut the fuck up! Shit. Holy fuck, he's dead. That is what they teach you in the army. Stealth is rewarded often in this game, but it isn't necessarily a stealth game. Far Cry 3 allows you lots of options to do what you want. Right now we're in this railroaded intro, and then we'll be in a tutorial which is also not quite railroaded, but there's not a whole lot we can do in it that's unique. Alright, so this tutorial is going to show us about the detection meter. Detection meters are these little things. When they fill up and blink at you, that means someone's seen you. Simple as that. I find it crazy how those pirates don't see us at all. Stay quiet. So, this intro area, we just basically have to sneak past all the pirates. We don't get to do any combat just yet through this first part. We're just trying to escape. Our character isn't even capable of combat. Keep moving. Just yet. Now here we're gonna see a pretty common mechanic. Throw a rock over there. Where you throw a rock in order to distract an enemy and get them to go where you want to. Hi. What? So I threw a rock over there and see he's gonna go investigate where he heard the noise of the rock. And that gives us a window of opportunity to go through this window. Who is that? Santa Claus. Oh. Merry Christmas. Oh God, I can't do this, Grant. Jay, 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 look Just at me. Just put coal in his stocking. It's okay. I can't find Lisa and Riley and the others without you. So pull it together, okay? Okay. I'm sorry. I laughed. Bye. So he did that throwing knife move, and we actually can get a move kind of like that in the future. Uh oh. So we watch him, but we gotta get out of here. Hiding the plants. Yeah, yeah. So we're hiding in these marijuana plants right now, 
and foliage is always really useful because enemies can't see you as long as you're inside foliage more or less unless they're really right in your face all right let's go okay so we've lured them with the rock we've lured them away from my Realize it wasn't anything too late. So we don't know what's going up there, but it doesn't sound like it's very good. I'm not afraid. I should have made that jump alone. I promised Dad I'd take care of you two. Does it say where Riley is? We're gonna find him. We're gonna free the others, and then we're going home. Oh no! No! Stay with me, Grant! Please, don't You could not hear Voss if it weren't for that subtitle. Killed our brother. Get the fuck out of here, you chicken fuck! Run for it! So. Run! Run for it! We may have Run. a vendetta out for boss. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! So, this section is, can actually be pretty tough. Shit! You actually have to have find time to heal yourself while you're running from the pirates. And it gets pretty tough. The healing animations, by the way, since we don't actually have any kind of medical items, obviously, at this point in the game, they're pretty gnarly. I don't know, if we can get it, if we can get out of here clean, we might not see one, but hopefully we will. I do think we actually can't get through here without... Oh, oh that's a bear. Are we not gonna get hit? Oh shit, I'm not sitting around to let that bear hit me, sorry guys. We'll see, we'll see one of those at some point. They're pretty gnarly. Oh, ow, ow. Alright, hold Q to heal. Let's see if we can... Have to find Riley in the Oh, man. That one's kind of lame in comparison. There's one where your thumb is broken and you set it back into place and it is nasty. You hear the crack and everything. Oh no! I like how he does that. He's like jumps out of jumps up, freaking jumps at your face, screaming alarm. We just stabbed him. Oh no, dogs! They seize us. Run from dogs. Oh no, ow. Oh no! I like how the no is not like in all caps or like has an exclamation point. It's just no. <laughs> what a great subtitle. <laughs> made it through the intro sequence most we actually did that pretty well normal the first time I did that on normal difficulty I actually died a couple times and I uh, had to heal a lot more maybe I'm just not very good at this game you can judge for yourself The 
nature boy syringe. I actually haven't gotten that syringe yet. That's an interesting uh, effect, but that's not very useful because plants actually appear on radar. It speaks to the warrior. The path leads to the heart of the jungle. Follow the path. And you will find the answer. Time to meet another main character. There he is. His name's Bob. Where am I? I'm Bob, the Scarecrow. Never mind. This what is actually a new character. His name's Dennis. You are weak. Well, not all of you. The arm has been deadened to allow for the Tatao. I did not ask for a Tatao. But I mean, it's pretty gnarly. Thank you, man. I wish you hadn't deadened my arm, though. To swim a storm, but to sunbathe. On a beach with pirates, insanity. Hey man, I didn't know it was a whoa. You have the right to take my life, but no, I will also take yours. Oh my! <laughs> I am Dennis. Jason. I am decent. I am Dennis. I like how he says that. Just completely matter of factly after putting a knife to your neck. The head on the shark and the spider. I know who you are, Jason. You are a warrior. And the Tatao will allow for you to reveal your true self. Kind of like this semi techno. My older brother has been killed. I need to find my younger brother and four other friends. Come with me. I really wish I was sitting on a so pillow right now. I'm sitting on no, the floor you in front of my TV. Yourself. Going to free you. One moment, folks. I'll free this up too. How did I get here? I found you on the beach. Welcome to a manaki village. It is something, isn't it? Huh? Delamat, Tengahari. I have Jess and Brody with me. The man who escaped. Alive. Yeah, it's me. I'm so cool. What's up? I like how I have that little wave. That the battle has turned. Oh, Hi. So, these are your people? Yeah. They do this Close all day. The strongest. This is Close all they do. Me. The island dwellers, the Rakiat, accepted. And I became a member of their tribe. <laughs> so, if you're really strong, the island, like... You? They are something, aren't they? So, like, does Beautiful. Magnus Magnuson live here? I could have any one I choose, but my will is set on one woman. Yeah. Cash for weapons. Awesome. Oh. You want Can to save your brother, me? right? I've never shot anyone before. That's about to change. What do they say in America? This is the first time. So right now we can only buy one gun. Confidential, press escape. To my fellow American, I know about your escape from Voss's camp. Good work. In the ensuing days, I'll be uploading intel about this island to your tablet. Intel you'll need to survive. Specific coordinates will be relayed to you at a later date. We will meet soon. Welcome to the jungle. So this guy is going to relay a whole bunch of data to us and there's us and we even put a little machine gun in our hands and this is his little blurb for us I'm not going to be reading all the things he says but I'm, I'm gonna definitely read some of them out loud because they're honestly sometimes they're pretty funny and sometimes they're absolutely laugh out loud funny well, I didn't mean to click away from that but yeah there's Amanaki town Uh, basically these people are keeping trying to keep culture known as the rocket alive but it's sort of this last edge of society most of the what island is, like island has been steeped in anarchy and 
madness because of the pirates. So right now we can only equip one weapon, but we'll be able to equip more later. And uh, we can't customize this weapon, sadly. Now there are quite a few guns, and I'll definitely go over them in a later episode. But right now, all we need to worry about is the pistol. And oh, I forgot. If I remember correctly, yes. We do get to own an M700 Predator, which is basically this gun, but with a few add-ons already added on. Thing is, once you get the gun for yourself, you can put whatever add-ons you want. I'm going to go ahead and equip that instead of the pistol, because the pistol is not very good. And we do not have access to any other guns. Or anything. Yeah, everything is like this. Trust me, they got some top Follow me, my friend. Hey, power Free weapons, from new jungle. tutorial. One second, Dennis. So, what this is telling us is as we activate radio towers, weapons become free. The more radio towers you activate, the more free weapons are available. From the island. You must learn the terrain. Know where to stand at all times. Vas uses the tower. So we just got a blurb for... Uh, map the island and to locate his men. I'll normally try to Scrumbers get those little blurbs access. when they come up, Our but people have no use for I'm not going to make it a super deal. That little but glowing you, plant over there, later on we'll be able to harvest those plants and them. use them for yes. uh, the scramblers creating the syringes, Each tower which have a variation area. of uses. Climb the mall and you will reveal the entire map. So yeah, basically, our goal is to go up there to that tower. Climb up to the top, take out what uh, take out a little scrambler box, and once we take out the scrambler box, we can reactivate the radio tower and use it to. That must be the radio map. tower. Good job. Let's look at our M700. M700 is a bolt-action sniper rifle. Doesn't get much simpler than that. That and the 1911 are the only guns we have blurbs about right. The uh, 1911, it's just a very regular pistol, and there's not a whole lot of reason to get it. Once you get better guns, <laughs> which we will very quickly, there's not a whole lot of need for the handguns. That incredibly creepy sound is actually just a goat. There's a snake, and uh, snakes will bite you if you get too close. So we're just deal with them. Let's go ahead and look at our blurb. So yeah, they're considered unclean, and eating them is taboo. And snake venom was used by the CIA. So yeah, don't don't get bit by the snakes. <sighs> Sorry, it's pretty late. Radio towers, new tutorial. Yeah. Everything we need, basically, radio towers will unlock supply drop quests, make weapons screen stores, reveal the map. Radio towers are the number one priority you want to get to when you go into a new area. The first thing you want to do is always activate the radio tower in that area. Do not, it doesn't matter if there's a main quest to do, doesn't matter what, if there's an outpost, whatever, doesn't matter. You always get the radio tower because you want to see the map. The map. Look down. Not just being able to see the map itself, but the map will also reveal the location of plants and enemies. And once you can actually see the terrain, you have much more meaningful information about where the enemies are. It's not more meaningful than just knowing that they're in front of you or behind you or what have you. So we can use our camera to zoom in much further than we can zoom in with our little scope. Our scope here won't help us too much. We need a high power scope if we want to see further. So let's go ahead and interact with this and we'll have a radio tower unlocked. We get there eventually, I guess. So. <coughs> 
We get a little animation like that every time we unlock a radio tower. Basically just a little signification that we... I'm not getting back down that but way. See, look. Now we see the map around us. And we can see that there's a little loot item way down there under us. Uh, right now, I could zip line all the way down here. Do that real quick. And I'm actually going to go ahead and get that loot item. Now that I know it's there. <laughs> also, Jason looks incredibly silly when he's sliding down the ladders. He will slide down wooden ladders with his palms on the ladder. And I'm just thinking, like, that must be horribly painful. Because they do not look, like, well polished. Be so careful here. Don't die. Yeah, I've died in about every possible imaginable way in this game. I really learned through trial and error, but... I'm, I'm pretty okay at it now. I, I feel like I can hold my own. So we got $25 and we got some SMG ammo. SMGs aren't great, but if you want a good silenced automatic weapon, the MP5 is the way to go, but boy, it will, uh, it will cost you. So we could have just, if we wanted to, we could have just, whoa! If we wanted to, we could have just zip line from down there all the way here all the way down to where we wanted to go again. But uh, we wanted to get our loot, so we're going down the hard way. Might as well reload the one bullet we used to kill the snake. Oh, there's loot items here too. See, these are the kind of things that having the nice ride, radio huh? towers activated will allow it's you done. to see. Good. Show me a map. Open your map with him. You see, everything you need to know has been revealed. Whoa, by whoa, the radio whoa, tower. whoa, whoa, what's going on? Shops, adventures, the island coast. There's you. something going on. And, like you, Jason, the shopkeepers are from the outside. They will use the radio towers to do business and so reward you with like weapons for every house. tower you free. A true warrior must hunt. It is the natural order of things. Look at the map. There you go. Select your hunting ground. No more weirdness. Do not fear your instincts. Society has taught you how to fail. Not nature. Here. Now, if you want to save your friends, you must know the jungle. Animal skins and leather will help you to carry many weapons and equipment. Plants can be mixed to create potent medicines that heal you, enhance your senses and more. Go. You return to me once you have mastered the jungle. What does that mean? What am I supposed to do? But, uh, basically, he just wants us to pick up some few plants and get him a couple of boar skins, which should be easy peasy lemon squeezy. So, here's our zipline tutorial. So, this mysterious guy is kind of mocking us for using the ziplines. And each time we get in a new car, he'll upload and tell about it to our survival guide. Not a whole lot, just pretty much the history of it. This car just looks... I like the driving around with this car because it just looks like a regular sedan. Let's go ahead and have a new tour, tutorial. So that's the look back button apparently, but I don't know what look back means. Like, I, I don't know what this button means. Like, it looks like a mouse-shaped chocolate chip cookie. That's the, really the only way I can interpret it that makes any sense. That's a goat. The goal is not to skin goats, even though we could use a goat skin. Actually, you know what? Oh, is that a, that that's a buffalo actually? We actually don't need anything made from buffalo skin for a while, but it is valuable. We missed our buffalo 
something, so let's go ahead and look at it. So yeah, buffalo are kind of useful in a lot of ways to the people of the island, but to us, pretty much just want their hides. There's a little cosmetic change I forgot to make that I'm going to make once I get back into town. So we're going to go ahead and get into the wildlife, and then we'll call this a video. Actually, we might want to get back in our car and not do the whole cross-country thing. Buffalo can actually get pretty nasty if they decide to make a point of fight. So you'll notice there's little blue leaves in that water down there. I'm not going to go... That's probably actually down, you know, on the off chance that isn't way down in the boonies. I'm going to see if I can get the loot there. Alright, yeah, it's underground under us, so we can't get it here. Let's get back in our car. You know, I'm wondering if maybe we can do this whole intro sequence in one big video. That'd be pretty nice. So this whole area here has different loot options. I'm just going to go ahead and take all of them. So you'll notice we're getting these little random items. And those are pretty much all just useful for selling. They have little flavor text as well. If you look at them inside of your rucksack, which is basically your item inventory. Oh, bring back my plants item and animals. Which ones? Both for the random items you get for selling and for the crafting items you receive, like these red leaves, these green leaves, blue leaves, and so on. And uh, the boar skins we're about to collect from these boars. Yes. Uh, all right. You can do this. So, good thing we brought the rifle. That made killing those boys <gasps> pretty easy. Whoa. So let's go ahead and collect those more skins now before we pick up, pick up any other items. Because right now our rucksack is pretty small. So now all we gotta do is get a blue leaf. Let's hope I can loot this out. We got a traffic cone. It's great. Alright, so we need to go here and get a blue leaf. These are pretty much always in the water, so. You cannot loot loot one sack full, is as I feared. So we're gonna wanna throw out one of our less valuable items. Let's see what's our least valuable one. Well, looks like it's these it's five dollar. Let's throw away these shutter shades. Breeze Wakame. So now we're going to use fast travel. That's just all you do is you go to M. See these, this little fast forward symbol here? Just double click on it. And that's how you fast travel. And once we're finished loading, we'll be back in town. Alright, I'm going to call this video here, and then we'll be back for episode 2, I think. I think, yeah, this is a good way to cut it. You never know, though. I might just make this one big video.